We are hearing tonight from the defense lawyer who convinced a Guthrie jury his client did not break the law when he left the scene where a woman died. News 9's Felice Romero joins us with the argument they made. Felice? We first reported the tragic story back in October of 2019. Police say Zachary Simmons hit 33-year-old Mandy Gorsuch with his truck outside of a bar in Guthrie, then left the scene. She died at the hospital. Over two years has passed since Mandy Gorsuch was hit by an F-250 outside of a bar in downtown Guthrie. I'm going to miss her and my heart. It's broken and there's nothing that can bring her back and I'm just hurting. Guthrie police say Zachary Simmons left the scene where Gorsuch was hit. Jurors deliberating over five hours concluding Simmons was not guilty. His attorney Scott Adams says a big factor was the lack of evidence that Simmons knew he killed someone with his truck. If you're driving an F-250 pickup uh, with the big tires and a jacked up truck and you pull out of a parking lot, it's not uncommon to run over a curb which is exactly what Zach had thought had happened. Gorsuch's friends not buying the argument in the months after the ordeal. I think it's absurd. He's walking free. He took somebody's life and he is free to live his life however he wants. He didn't have any ill intent or ill will against anyone. It was simply a tragic, tragic accident. Adam says in this case, once police got a hold of Simmons, he cooperated with the investigation. He feels horrible about the death and, and, and someone's life being taken. Unfortunately, there's really not a lot he can do about that, but it's something he's going to have to live with for the rest of his life. She's gone. She'll, we'll never see her again. He took somebody's life. We did reach out to family and friends of Gorsuch and have not heard back. The family tells the Guthrie news page they're worried this verdict sets a bad example. In the studio, Feliz Romero, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.